Alright, it's time for Eric Plays City of Skylines 2. And we've got this weird jumping around going on here. Let's disconnect from this yellow car. Um, alright. So, uh, I, what I want to start off doing really quickly is... <laughs> travel outside for school. Alright, so I'm going to have to fix some school stuff. Um, so here's my train tracks. Um, so now that I've got, um, we've got the line tool, I want to quickly do a, um, set of trees kind of blocking the train tracks here. Um, we'll do, 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 do maybe like this tree. Let's do the line tool. Actually, let's do a simple curve we'll do wall to wall mode uh, let's go up like this all right so I'm gonna just go oh water wall do I want fence let me see what fence looks like that's closer. Um, let's see here. You know what? I, I think it's fine. All right, so we'll do what we can here. So we'll go, let's see. So uh, I'll start here. Kind of immediately have a problem with that tree, huh? All right, so we'll go here. Why does it turn out to be a lot harder than I thought it would be? Hmm. Maybe I'll just plant these one at a time then. It's going to be that difficult. At least here, I guess. go back to the line tool for a minute. Nope. Alright. Uh, the planner plays must have like anarchy on or something when he does this because it just seems to work. Then again, he's probably usually doing it in a place that's not so full of prior things. So it goes. We'll have to try this again if we're in another area that allows maybe a little more. Placement without issue. Starting here, we could do it. Let's see. There we go. Except it didn't work for some reason. Oh, it did work. It just didn't look like it worked. All right. And then... Let's see. All right. I think that's pretty good. And then leaving, we can kind of do like that here. I see, I thought I had the, but I still had the curve tool on. That's why things were acting a little odd. Okay. okay. All right, and then coming out here, I'm just gonna leave it alone because there's no need to block the noise there. All right, so I think what I wanna do is move to these neighborhoods here and see if I can't fix the road hierarchy a bit, maybe. Um, and yeah, so this is, let's see, this is, a, okay, so we've got a highway here. 
Um, and this one that bypasses that way. Chestnut. Alright, we've got this street here. Comes off the highway. Okay. And then... That was a cargo chain terminal. Alright. Alright, um, and I think, let's see, am I kind of turned around from, no, this is where I thought it was, okay, alright, um, I think, oh, right, I'm usually oriented this way, that's why I was confused, okay, alright, that makes a lot more sense, alright, that makes more sense. So here we've got this very small grid going on. Um, and then we've got Walnut Street here. Chestnut Street. Okay, so and there's a highway up there. Okay, and then coming down this way, we get to Elm and Sycamore Highways. Alright, so this actually does a pretty good job not having any... Except for this helicopter depot. Not really having... Any traffic on it, so that's fine as an arterial. Um, I think maybe the bigger problem would be getting out of here. We don't seem to have any collectors necessarily get us out of out of Empire Glade or Upper Empire Glade down to Lower Empire Glade. Um, so I may want to work on that. Maybe we can relocate the school and um and have like a couplet here that'll come down that might be pretty good all right so i'm going to temporarily pause the simulation uh no i'm going to let the simulation keep running but i'm going to pause the recording all right so let's move this school I'm going to move it uh, to this side of the neighborhood. And we're going to move the high school. Welcome, Professor. So a housing shortage is bad for the people trying to move here, right? Humans are programmed to desire certain representations within ideological reward structures, which are entirely apart from... Are you, you guys complaining about the power? Yeah. It's not very realistic, but we're just going to say that they... This garbage all over the place. Oh, no. They rebuilt it. Alright, so now... Daddy, they hate living in the in industrial areas, Daddy. Yep. So you shouldn't put houses there. Alright, so I'm going to do... They love the re love weather. Mm. Right. You're, you're a millionaire. So I'm going to do... Nope, wrong side. Daddy, this person is complaining about how noisy. Mm-hmm. Alright, so we're going to come from here. Good to know, Jim. And Seems make the couplet. Everyone's in a hurry to get somewhere fast. It's worth slowing down. And if you can... I think how you made the road. Mm-hmm. Because there's just square after square after square. Nope. Alright, and then... Those are one-way roads. You can attach that one-way road to that road. Yep. They're actually not one-way, but I'm going to make them one-way. Is one-way road a normal road? No. See, right now, they could be on either side. I'm going to change it up. Why? So, because that means we can have more capacity. So I'm going to have it go... Across the entire town. Let me think. No, actually, you know what? I'll leave it like that. I'll leave it like that. I'm not going to change it. 
Um, Two legs so the, are the ones that we normally. Yeah. So the couplet um, is. Let's see. All right, we're gonna get rid of this Do over I, here. I this think is you kind should of... make another high. Weird. Like that, that thing was useless. What? The thing that I was just sticking out. That was useless. Yeah. All right. I think we will connect this guy right here. So now people have this other road that they can go without as much traffic to get up here to Walnut Street. Primrose Street. Um, and actually, I think since we have the couplet coming in here for the lane math to work, we're going to increase this to a four lane road. Why? We have two lanes and two lanes coming in, so there should be a four lane road. What's a four lane road? Is it like there's two lanes for each? Two? Yep. Right, so, so less, I, even less traffic. Yeah, so now they can come here, come over. The highway. To get on the highway. Um, and then... Yeah, I think your largest street is Walnut Street. I'm gonna get rid of the traffic lights here. These people just have to yield. And then get rid of the traffic lights there. Because it's a neighborhood, and right, there. Daddy? Yeah, it should help traffic Traffic go faster. All right, and then this comes over here. But those are two big roads, so we'll let there be a light there. All right, so now what have we got going on here? We've got a train. We've got some trains waiting for other trains to finish up before they come in. Daddy, see these kind of lines one easier? No. Not necessarily. All right. Is it? So. But there's like less things you need to control. All right. Let's... You need more housing. You need more apartments. Okay. So he took care of himself. Let's get rid of you. You, I guess. People love the health care. Yep. All right. So now that we've done that, let's take a look at this neighborhood and see how they're doing with the different things. So power, they are fine. Water, they're fine. Uh, healthcare. They're perfectly fine. They're fine. Um, crash, they're okay. Fire. Disaster control. Nope. Bad basically everywhere. <coughs> so let's make another thing for them. That is... Uh, here, I think. No. Is it here? Disaster control, we'll put a little small emergency center right there. Okay. And need another one for all of us we have. All right, so that takes care of disasters. Police, we're fine. Administration, nothing. Education, this top little part, but otherwise we're okay. So we'll have to think about that when we grow this area. Um. Then for transportation, we got a nice bus route going on here. Uh, for mailboxes, uh, what have we got? So we've got a post office here. Let's say this post office is only for Empire Glade, and that should help speed things up. Uh, what else do we need to do? Um, internet, they have internet. So I think we're okay. And taking a look at Lower Empire Glade, I think we're fine here as well. So now we move on to Victoria End, which is pretty tiny. Is yeah, a very tiny neighborhood. Um, so we don't really need to do much on them. It's so, basically everything the same as the other one. Yeah, what I what I think maybe we need to do here is. No, you know what? I think looks it looks like the traffic is fine there. You have so much money. So you're rich. Yeah. Now if we come here's where we had a lot of problems here in Autumn Ridge and Barlow Way because of our road hierarchy, and we'll get to that after my next pause. All right. So if we look here, Wood Street is essentially our arterial 
Um, they have I think more I, than a million dollars. They're now eventually they're officially a billion. Yeah, I think. Traffic circle. Yeah. So I think we'll and leave. More Halloween. Yeah, I think. Do you remember that ugly image we just covered it with tree? Mm-hmm. A driving advisory has been issued for the immediate So, in the past, what I did was create a bunch of different entrances and exits off the highway, hoping to catch people where they wanted to get on and off. Um. Uh, you are listening to second move. Yeah, but they, we are selling, they, we have a lot of <laughs> electric, they, that is a report from the electric department. Uh -huh. Sources tell um, the bridge is like, GAH! Services, then we know what to do with. And you know what that means, folks. I think we don't have a way to get back well, on from this side, though. Is we are selling it, and Not from over here, anyway. That's right. Um, alright. That's hey, look. Yep. That you need more houses. Sure do. Um, well, I don't know. I guess I've... The commercial district guess things are fine. They're not they're not having the traffic issues we were having before. Um, let's take a look at our services here. Well, first, if I look... So, traffic's not great, but it's not horrible. Um, medical. Amazing. Let's see. Could probably use a small one here. One of our new small medical clinics can kind of just fit it right there. And perfect. Um, garbage, we're fine. All over. I see garbage trucks running around. Fire is fine. Disaster's fine. Police administration, we need more of. Education, we're actually fine. I'll tap there. Yeah, but no one lives there. And there's literally a school right here. So that's kind of weird. Uh, where's the school? It is Barlow Way. Oh, it doesn't do Butler Peak, that's why. But no one lives there. That's just a park. So that's fine. And then we've got the school up here, which is completely maxed out. How the heck is that? Because it's doing Autumn Ridge, Victoria, and, and Barlow Way. I see. Hi, people. I complain that it's too noisy. Yep. All right, I think it's time, f now that we have the smaller school, it's time for Victoria N to get its own elementary school. Um, let's see. I think... Are you gonna have a zoo? Uh... There's no zoo in this, in this game. Um, all right, I think I will extend Forester Street. Forest Street, I mean. And, oh no, there's a pedestrian way there, so maybe we'll do it. Actually, so that's kind of nice. We got this here where the kids can walk. Although, they'd be walking from that neighborhood. That'd be kind of crazy. They'd go over the train tracks, but still. So we'll go up here, and we'll get the small elementary school. It's pretty obvious to see when there's a... Okay, Daddy? Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to say that this is only for uh, Victoria End. And then for the school up here that was full, we're going to say you're no longer providing for Victoria End. And hopefully that will help. Um, and they eventually. love all this, everything that the city <coughs> Yeah. But oh, it's also are they also doing, doing Bar the Way? That might be a... Okay, I think that's a remnant of when... So, I don't think they should also be providing for Barlow Way, so we're going to take that off too. Which means Barlow's probably going to get full. Uh, so let's add the extension wing. Which gives us a lot more space. And we will keep going, looking through our services here. Alright, there is... Some mass transit here. We could probably improve that in a future. In the future, uh, we've got decent mail. Got 
telecom. You know what though? We could probably use a small post office here. Maybe. Let's see. Realistically, we would want it to be off of one of these streets here. Maybe off of Wood Street. We'll have a. And we'll do a small post office here. All right. So hopefully that helps clear things out a bit. And then internet, we're fine, and that's good. All right. So. Probably the next simplest place to take a look at would be Johnson Glen. Let's take a look at Johnson Glen. That'll be the next place that we do. We've got some kind of electricity issue going on here. We've got a bottleneck over here. All right. And some more bottlenecks over here. Okay. So I'm going to leave things paused while I try to figure out what's going on here. All right. Um, so what is this saying? This is saying cannot produce a lift to match current demand. Maybe what I need is where's this going? This is going over that way and that way. Transformer over there. So maybe I need another transformer over here. Let's see, so if I were to put a transformer there, and then connect right back there, does that do anything to solve the problem? <coughs> it doesn't appear to. Um, maybe if we put another one, let me think. Hmm. Let's see. So these folks are still messed up over here. Technically, should have enough. Well, that's the, probably not producing anything right now. And it says we've got a bottleneck here. Maybe. <laughs> hmm. What if we drop another one here and then in the electricity?
there. Does that help at all? All right, that did seem to fix the situation. <laughs> all right, we still need to fix our garbage situation though. Uh, let's see. So that's rebuilt. All right. Um, so I think maybe, let's see over here, we've got a wastewater treatment plant, got a recycling center. Plaza. So we have basically some industry here, some offices. All right. Um, Perhaps what we need is to add some garbage collection out here. start sending out cars. Let's definitely expand how many cars we've got. That might help a bit. I doubt they'll like it there, but sometimes these things have to happen. <laughs> Alright, so we were going to work on Johnson Glen. All right. So taking a look at Johnson Glen here. Got this. Oh, wow. These people have to wait a long time. What are, we got a lot of routes here. look at Johnson Glen to Winslow. We've got one vehicle. Um, Empire Glade, we've got one. Actually, let's take a look at, go over to our train yard. We've got nine out of 10 vehicles in use, okay. And then this one here, another rail yard it's got 14 out of 15 this is a subway yard okay all right so we were to take a quick look at our um passenger rail So we've got tons of people here. Got five trains. All right, so this one, let's make it a uh, red. Um, it's not need three trains, I don't think. All right, 
we will so this is meadow acres to orchard so this one has a lot of people what's this one oh this is basically our, our big loop all right i see oh there's a big part there all right can we give it more trains all right uh now back to johnson and glenn We've got some pretty decent, um, ouch, oh man, some pretty decent density here, but we could may maybe increase it a bit. Let's see, what have we got going on here? All right, so this is a highway here, so Chestnut Street is an arterial. It should technically not have these uh, homes on it or commercial or whatever, but mainly what we want to do is especially if we're going to increase the density is get rid of the um traffic lights onto here we'll let that one stand all right and then out there it becomes a highway again so yeah this is definitely arterial don't put any more or too much more on there and then Coming up this way, we've got this street, which we've wisely not put anything on. And then, so we've got a couplet here. Um, all right, so let's eliminate those lights. All right, cool, cool, cool. So we should de technically have some pretty good movement through here. Let's start with checking our services. And then after that, we will um, take a look at. Um... Oh, just really quickly. Let me just look at my population. No, I wanted to look. What did I want to look at? Graphs, right? Let's look at graphs. Let's look at citizens. All right, we've got a straight up trajectory. All right, cool. It's a small death wave. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So. Let's look at services and see what that tells us to do here. So roads looks like uh, we probably could use another road maintenance facility or something. Uh, and then traffic is could be better, but all right. So what I want to do is off of here. I'm going to grab an alley. Common groceries for twice the price. It's twice as nice. I'm gonna come off about right there and drop a road maintenance depot. All right, these cannot be limited by uh, district, which is fine. All right. So we may put some other um, some other uh, civic buildings there. We'll see. We've got a high school here, which is completely full. Let's add an extension wing. All right, and let's say this is only for Johnson Glen. All right, so electricity, we are fine. <coughs> Water's fine. Uh, healthcare is fine. We've got both types of healthcare here. Health and death, I guess I should say. Trash is fine. Fire's fine. Disaster control, not so good. Let's grab one of those. We'll go right off of here. And then let's see. Maybe one here near the high school. I think that's a logical place for it. And then over here. Um, we'll go off of here. Maybe we'll add some parks or something in there. Now that we've got some more. Um, creative ways to do parks are. Right, so we've got this police station here. Let's say this is only for Johnson Glen. 
Um, okay. Um, uh, we've got the train that's got a lot of people waiting. All right, mailboxes. We've got mail facilities. We don't, so we could probably use a small post office here, which we'll add over there. I think that's a decent place for that to be. I think that makes sense. Hopefully that increases the pickups. Let's see if we get out of here, click on this guy. And this is to operate here. We'll see what happens as we go along. Um, internet so is fine, could be better. And we've got plenty of parks and some tourism density, okay. So it doesn't look like we have to miss. Oh, somehow I skipped over education. Um, administration, education. Okay. So our elementary school is also full. Gosh darn. We'll do that, which makes everyone happy. But I think <coughs> what we'll do, well, first of all, we got to say this is only for Johnson Glen. Um, and we have like a need over here. Potentially. Um, so what I think we'll do is we'll have another elementary school up here so that people don't have to go all the way down there. Maybe off of Amity Street, we can fit one of the small ones that we've got now with the detailers pack. And we certainly can. We'll put it... Well, that's a commercial district. That does not really make sense, does it? Um, and it's too big for there. Hmm. These are parks or something. All right, well, there is not a great place to put it here. Uh, maybe we... All right, maybe what we'll do is we will eminent domain a little bit and get some off of Heather Street here. And we will um, go to a regular size street. We'll pull this way. Now as compensation, I'm going to allow for a higher density here. All right. And then we will have the school be right there. And we should probably extend this road. You know what? We will extend the road all the way. Let's do a curve. There we go. All right. So now we've got this elementary school, which will only be for this district. All right. That should help things out. Now we... This one may be filling up. We may need to make another one. <laughs> Maybe over here somewhere, but we'll see. Um, all right, so it looks like we need, let's take a look at this here. So we've got high and low with very little medium. Okay. So I don't think this is necessarily the right neighborhood for high. But I could see maybe things have developed here a bit and now near the train station, oh, which the wait time has dropped. That's good. Um, so maybe maybe now we've gained a little bit higher zoning here with our offices. Let's say Maybe there. Um, and then, you know, this is right near the train station. They've, you know, been able to be zoned a bit higher. Um, and then, again, here near the train station, Maybe we've gained a bit higher zoning. Um, and we've 
get some pretty decent residential here. Um, maybe we have a, just a little bit of high density here. Maybe just this guy here. All right, we'll let that be. All right, so that takes care of Johnson Glenn. Um, let's see how many vehicles have we got. We've only got half of them being used, so that's good. Um, all right, overall, things seem to be improving, other than the garbage piling up. <laughs> we'll have to fix all of this over here eventually. I'm saving that for last because it's the hardest. All right, so this will be the last little bit that I do before today is over. So we've got the university here. Um, we've got Hamilton Street going towards the highway. Um, so I'm going to send. It also goes to the highway here. So we're gonna we're gonna make this a collector, and we're gonna maybe upgrade the street a bit as well. So um, here where it's getting. Oh, you know what? This becomes our collector here, right? So like, or our arterial. So like this part, we're not going to worry too much about. Um, I'll say we can probably get rid of our traffic light there, but I'll leave it. I'll leave it alone. Um, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess we have that one, but eh. yeah, it's not it's not perfect, but I think it's fine, actually. Now that I think about it. All right, and then we've got this hospital here. All right, so let's take a quick look at um, <laughs> Wretched. All right, wonder why. What is it that makes it so bad? All right, um, let's take a look at our resources here. Health is fine. Um, garbage. Fire. Disaster. Police. All right. Let's say police. This is for here and here. Um. And then if we go out to firehouse. Oh, we've already selected, okay. All right, uh, education. Not quite full. Barlow Grove, where's Barlow Grove? Oh, down there, okay. All right, um, that's fine. They're not too full and they can still be upgraded. Um, Okay. Sure. Okay. So they're all fine there. Um, if we were to look, let's see, buses and so forth. Oh, this is a uh, subway line, and not too much waiting there. All right. Oops. Mail. Uh, mail box is fine. Mail collection needs work. And internet is fine. All right, so mail. Grab a small post office. And we'll put them right there. There we go. That should help people out. Um, so in general, the area here near the university is poor, which is I find interesting. Also, I find it weird that they have garbage piling up and there's a freaking landfill right there. Um, hmm. Alrighty, though. Very cool. Pretty interesting. We're up to 105,000. Um, and although the cars are driving at a decent rate, the simulation is slow as molasses. Alright, we'll probably take Birdsong Glade and Autumn Mills next. 
That's my guess. Um. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm just gonna do a quick check of all the these things here. The roads could be better. expect this one to be full quite yet. It's probably too big for this neighborhood actually, but I'll just let it be. Um they have a post office. Maybe I need to restrict its area. Alright. Um now entering thick digital games. Prepare for sensory overload. You want it thick Digital! Are you a man or a mountain? Alright. So I need to take care of the streets here afterwards. Just to make sure this is operating the way it should be. We are a thriving Metropolis now. Excellent. So I'm going to take a look at Metropolis, which I didn't look at before. That didn't give me much. Yeah, so we just got a bunch of points and stuff. I think from now on it's all just points. Okay. Are you setting a good example for your followers? Are you on a journey to find are you tired of shopping All right, let's just follow this train, and that'll be it for today. And we'll come back to Birdsong Glade later. Why, hello, Janet. Hi, Stanley. Isn't this a lovely place to shop? It sure is. Common groceries. I like all the uh, trees I've got going here. Hopefully keeping uh, things a little quieter for the residents here. 